So we have Google Drive. Everybody now has Google Drive. Google are now offering for you to migrate your stuff from Microsoft, which is pretty cool. So inside our Google Drive, we have our My Drive and we have our shared drives. And for many, many years, many of us have just used our My Drive to set stuff up in. You may still be using My Drive to share stuff with your team, but there's a big mistake that many people are making with their Google Drive. And that is that if you create a folder in your My Drive and you share that folder, I'll share this with Nesta. So I'm going to share a folder with Nesta, which is what most people do in their Google account. The little icon is going to change to a little, little person there. Just wait for it. There we go. So it's changed to a little person. I'm going to start dropping some files in here. And my colleague Nesta is also going to start dropping some files in here. Let's maybe make a copy of these. We have to do it one by one, of course. We covered that last, covered that last time. All right. So we're going to be putting files in here, but there is a big problem. Files that I drop in here, I'm the owner of those files. But files that Nesta drops in, put you on the spot here, aren't I, mate? Nesta's going to drop some files in, but Nesta remains the owner of the files that he drops in. And that causes a big problem. The problem that that causes is that Nesta has full control of any of the files that he owns. And Nesta might have a Gmail account that I don't control. Nesta could be a contractor who's completely outside my business. And for anyone within my business, for itgenius.com, or in this case, it's testgenius.co, I can control any of the users under my directory and under my business. They leave the business. I can reset their password, get access to their account, uh, and get access to all their data that they own. But for anyone who is not in my account, maybe they're a contractor, maybe they're a Gmail account, maybe they're just someone else with a Google Workspace account who's just not the owner of the folder, they have the ability to delete any of those files. And most business owners in the world are running around with a whole lot of files sitting in their My Drive that they don't own. Now, you could also go into your My Drive and just scroll through My Drive and you'll probably see a whole bunch of them right now. Let me go into my real drive and I'll go into my My Drive. Or if you go to Shared With Me, that's the other easy way to find it. You're gonna find a whole bunch of stuff that's not owned by you but it's owned by people who are outside your company, all these different random people. So what usually happens? You might think, ah, who cares, Pete? It's shared with me, Google's collaborative, I've got it in my drive. Here's what happens. You've got someone on a Gmail account, right? And that person gets to 15 gigabytes of storage in their Gmail account. It fills up, they start getting scary warnings from Google saying your email's about to stop. And they say, oh my God, you know what? I got to clean up my Google Drive. And they start deleting stuff. And guess what? This all disappears from your drive. And then our customer calls us and says, oh my God, I've just lost half of the stuff in my drive and I don't know where it's gone and you lost it or Google lost it. <laughs> I'm sure Google lost it. I'm sure it was there yesterday, but now it's gone and you guys have to go and find it when, and we have no way of recovering that because the person's deleted it. So Google decided that we're going to create a solution and they created shared drives and shared drives give us a company managed drive, which we own and we control. And then everybody in the business has access to a place to put files which are controlled by the company. And they've done such a brilliant job of this, honestly, such a brilliant job because I can access not only the stuff from my company, I can access stuff from other companies as well. And it's bleedingly obvious if I'm going to put stuff in a folder and the folder is owned by someone else because it literally says it right there. And so if I'm collaborating with different companies, you can see, there we go, there's on-site helper stuff there. If I'm collaborating with different companies, if I'm collaborating with a lawyer there, if I've got something internal, I know when it's internal, it is all there and simple and obvious. So that's what we're going to go through the setup of. I'm going to show you how to do it properly because we're not just going to share our files with our team willy-nilly. We're going to set up groups for that because that's really important to get done. So that's the difference between the two. Basically, we have a rule inside our business. And that is if you don't put it in a shared drive, the file doesn't exist to us. You are not allowed to create stuff in your My Drive. Now, recently, there's, I think, an admin setting that allows us to stop people saving stuff from their, into their My Drive at all. They're not allowed to. I haven't tested that one yet, but uh, I don't know. Maybe if we have time, we'll, we'll even test that and see how that setting goes. So anyway, we're going to use shared drives for everything. That's the rule. And as much as possible, my recommendation is if I, for example, open up a Google Doc here and I create, let's go back to my drive here. If I open up a Google Doc here and I decide, you know what, I want to share this with someone. As much as possible, you want to avoid the blue button. 
And again, it's a hard one because you've got humans in the mix. As much as possible, you want to avoid the blue button and instead, hey, I've just created this amazing document. Let me share it with my team. You click the folder and we move it into the appropriate shared drive. It's a couple more clicks, but you move it into the shared drive and then it's shared forever. You don't have to worry about, does this person have access? Does that person have access? Oh, share request, email alert, or Google Drive alert. Oh, can you share it with me? Oh, can you give me edit access? Oh, I don't have access. You can move it into a shared folder. And if you set up your shared folders right, everyone's going to get access to the right files at the right time, always. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.